Hi, good afternoon, and uh, welcome back to my video study guide here um, for Houston Community College 308 course. And I've gone through and created a video study guide of the information and key concepts that I believe is important to understand before the final exam. And as you know, I've just been going along through the sections and just picking out things that I believe are important to know. So um, we've gone through, we're now at the point of solving for linear equations and two um, important inf pieces of information that we need to know are our x-intercept and our y-intercept and I went through and defined what that is and how to find it but I didn't really solve for an equation so now I'm going to show you how to solve for the x and a y-intercept using uh, the linear equation or basically just some key things that I believe are important to a step in the process of solving. So these are two equations. This equation here, and I wrote it down here just for the sake of uh, that we don't have to rewrite it twice. So when it says find the coordinates for the x-intercept and the y-intercept, I know immediately I'm going to draw a little chart to the side of the equation. So generally, I just do a little chart. It's got like a line, a little cross to the top, and then I put an x and a y on both sides. So, and then I know if my solving for my x-intercept, my y is going to be a zero, so I go ahead and plug that in. And if I'm solving for the y-intercept, I know my my x is going to be a zero, and then I'm going to of course solve for y. So, over here on our x-intercept. We know our y is 0, so I can go ahead and plug, we know how to solve for an equation, so we know that basically I can go 3x plus 5, plug in my 0, equals 15, so I've got 3x plus that, we know this here cancels out, so you've got 3x uh, equals 15, divide by 3 of course, 3 and 5, and I go ahead and fill that. And for my x coordinate, bam, and then I can go through and put that on a, uh, put that point on a graph. And then here I come and solve for my y-intercept. I go ahead and plug in 3, 0, plus 5, y equals 15. I know this here will cancel out, and then I have 5y equals 15, divide by 5, 5 is 3, so I've got my coordinate here for the next, and then I go ahead and plug those, remember this is your, your x, your horizontal movement, your y is your, your vertical movement here, so you're going to have your point there on the x, uh, access there and then of course over here for your other intercept you've got 0 comma 3 so you know your uh, 0 is going to have 0 movement from that horizontal movement there and of course our vertical uh, movement is going to be a rise of 3 so you can go ahead and plug that in on your graph and connect the dots and now you can go back in and do a checkpoint um, usually I just pick maybe something if I Looking at this, I kind of see the operation that I'm going to do, and like if it's three times, just plug in a number and then solve for y, and plug that in on your 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 line, and of course map it out. So, um, if you have any questions, I just solve for my x-intercept and my y-intercept by plugging zero in for each one to get the other. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know.